Hello everybody, this is Bill Elsie with Wines.com and today I am here with Magdi Nafal at Grill Haven at the South First Food Court in Austin, Texas. It's a beautiful day to sit outside and talk about some food and really one of the most enjoyable things about wine and food is the pairing of them together so that they both will kind of enhance uh, the flavors from the wine will also enhance the flavors from the food. So Magdi, what is your menu like um, and what are some of the uh, different types of dishes that you offer here? I was trained in Europe uh, cooking French food and uh, I left the business a long time and this is my first return and I'm trying to incorporate a little bit of uh, my background of Mediterranean. I was born in Egypt um, with my training so I'm doing a little bit of uh, you know sandwiches like French dip, Reuben, uh, turkey with avocado and Swiss and then I, I add a little bit of uh, the falafel, the eggplant, the hero the spiciness, the peppers and the basil and the fresh herbs and the mint and so forth in order to offer something that's, you know, would be appeal to the majority of people. So uh, this is basically a gyro wrap. It's pronounced hero, hero or gyro depending on what region. Uh, so this is more of a grill haven version of, of, of it. It's not uh, very authentic. On the other hand, the meat is. It's uh, grilled with onions, tomatoes, pickles, um, lettuce and it's mixed with a tzatziki sauce which is a, a Greek yogurt sauce with honey, garlic and mint. There's a couple of things that I always think about whenever I'm pairing food with wine. Uh, one is going to be the, of course the flavor components. You want to have the, the wine enhance uh, the flavors that you find um, in the dish but also uh, you want to look at the wine from a uh, structure and texture profile as well. This is a little bit of a, of a lighter style dish. There's a lot of uh, different components to it with the lighter lamb, but there's also that Greek yogurt sauce. So I'm definitely thinking that some white wines, especially in the lunchtime setting, are going to be the ideal pairings. Uh, being that this kind of has the Mediterranean type of feel to it, I definitely would recommend wines that are from that area as well, particularly Italy and Greece. Um, I really would suggest going out and trying to find a Falangina. Falangina is a white grape that has a lot of mineral character to it. Typically it's very light and clean and refreshing. It would be a great pairing with this. Of course, Pinot Grigio is going to be something that's going to be more readily available. Nothing wrong with having a glass of Pinot Grigio and a gyro at lunch, so you can uh, definitely go ahead and do that. Um, but also a white wine that I think would be probably the best pairing with this would be from Greece. It's a uh, grape and also a wine that's called Assyrtiko. Assyrtiko, again, is a, is a dry white wine, has medium body character to it, but it has nice acidity that's going to pair with a lot of the flavor components to this dish. It's also going to be very refreshing. So one of the best things about the food trailer scene here in Austin, Texas, is that you can bring your own bottle um, of wine to the food court and enjoy it with any of the, uh, the menu items that are out there. So definitely uh, recommend you know, trying some of those uh, more obscure Mediterranean varieties with a, uh, you know, something off the beaten path with a gyro like this.